I'm Benjamina, and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Higher Stakes. The world population is going to be 10 billion strong by 2050, and we're eating more meat than ever before. And that's despite people being more and more aware of the negative consequences that this has, and plant-based meats getting better by the day. So clearly, people still want real meat. At higher stakes, we're making meat that looks, smells, and tastes just like meat should. And it's the same down to the molecular level. Our only difference is our process. We first take a non-invasive cell sample from the animal, in our case, a pig, which we then expand in a media which is like a liquid full of nutrients, and differentiate those cells into different types of tissue, such as muscle and fat, and bring it back together to make our product. Now, if this sounds familiar, it's because people have been talking about this for decades. But what has changed are the advancements that have happened in the biotech field. But see, in the biotech field, they do things at small scale and high cost, and we're doing just the opposite. So there are still some challenges that we need to overcome. The first is the cost. The second, the consistency and efficiency. The third is the texture in order to properly mimic meat. At higher stakes, we're creating the scientific breakthroughs that will allow us to scale cell-based meat and bring it to market. By focusing on cell differentiation, bioreactors, and scaffolding, we are able to scale this. And this is not just a cool technology. It's also a huge potential market that's predicted to reach over 600 billion by 2040. And within that market, we're one of less than five companies that decided to focus on pork. We've decided to focus on pork because the demand is shooting up, but the supply is a significant threat because of African swine fever. It's predicted that it will wipe out one third of pork production in China, and it's already hit 10 countries in the EU. Pork also has one of the highest uses of antibiotics, which is one of the major challenges that we're tackling, and a wide variety of processed products that we can start with. We're currently making significant progress on our R&D and are aiming to commercialize in three to five years by starting with high-end restaurants. And the reason we're able to do this is because of our amazing team. My co-founder and CSO, Dr. Wallace, has a PhD in modeling Alzheimer's disease using the same type of cells as we're using today. Our scientific director, Professor Hay, is the chair of the tissue engineering department. And my background is in chemical engineering, and I've run a profitable business in the past. We also have an amazing team and advisory board that are all leading experts in their field. We're currently seeking funds, looking for partnerships, and looking for a COO. So if any of this is of interest to you, or if like one of our judges told me this morning, you didn't understand anything of what I just said, come talk to us at our booth. Thank you very much. <laughs>